Hello fellow makers. So let's talk a little bit about design. There's several softwares out there to design. Uh, Inkscape is free, but it's a download. So if you have Chromebooks, it doesn't work. Adobe Illustrator, great design software, uh, costs some money, download also. Uh, but I found something that's online. Someone showed it to me. Um, it's called Cuddle, cuddle.xyz. It's this design software that's browser-based, so it can work on Chromebooks. Uh, Tinkercad, also design software browser-based, usually for 3D printing, but can do um, other things also. It can also download SVGs and it can also do coding um, for designs. So there's some variations out there that, that you can play with. Um, Turtle Sketch, Turtle Ink, uh, those kind of things to uh, have kids design stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit with Cuddle. Um, they have a free plan, which as you see here, you get five free projects and 10 free downloads per month, which does re reset, obviously. Um, if you need a, if you've got five projects and you need to do another one, you have to delete one. Sorry. Um, they have Cuddle Pro and Cuddle Pro um, is 144 a year, I think is what it is. Um, they do have educate and they do have an education pricing. Like if you want to do a classroom, that's good for uh, 30 active accounts. So 350 a year, 30 accounts, pretty good. You could do that for like uh, for te teachers, for class, your students, and then they have like a site license, 750 a year, uh, that everybody has come to get there. Um, they also have are thinking about an educator, individual educator, pricing, but yeah. Everyone, everyone's got to make money to keep things going and to keep developing things. So, uh, so that's the pricing idea. Um, I've got a few projects going. Um, they also have, you know, some example projects. They have got lots of templates. Like there is a box template. So let's see here. Let's go templates. Uh, you know, keychains, boxes. Um, box with a lid, jigsaw. I mean, they got a bunch of different templates, and people from the community share projects in there. So, pretty much all you have to do is uh, tweak a design, like I did a snowflake one that was names that were the branches of the snowflake. And I made those for, uh, oh, right there, name snowflake um, for uh, some Christmas presents. Uh, explore, learn, blog, community, da 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 da. So let's talk about projects. I am going to redo this one uh, just to show you how to do it. So new project. Oh, they also recently, someone a couple years ago created a gear, which I've been trying to figure out how to do. All right, so let's see, I had a one inch by three inch rectangle. So there's shapes over here, circle, rectangle, polygon, um, star, emojis, text. We'll get to text in a minute. So we'll, what I, uh, one by three rectangle. Um, often it probably makes most sense to put that at the origin. And over here, I mean, here's it says, hey, you got a rectangle. And over here are the properties. It's at its position is zero zero. Uh, it's nice to center things up and help use that to center things up. Scales one to one. What did I say I wanted three. What am I? Three to one. Three by one. Yeah, three by one. Okay. Um, so three by one skew rotation uh, so nice things you can change now here is where you're going to change the lines do you want uh, like if you're uh, laser do you want to engrave well if you want to engrave you're going to fill that's usually for text but if you just want to cut that's just stroke and we can change the colors cut lines are usually red so i'm just going to grab any kind of red doesn't matter what which red um yeah it says hairline okay I don't know, I haven't played with that before. Um, let's just stay with hairline. Uh, but you can adjust that, obviously. So there's my red rectangle. Um, I need a circle because I want to make this kind of like a uh, keychain. Uh, one by one is probably pretty big. How about half? Half would be still be pretty big. How about a quarter inch circle? I mean, that's not going to work. 0 0.25, not slash 25. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to grab that and drag it and put it in somewhere. Now, here's the things we can do. Um, if we, let's see what happens here. Let's see if we, let's go to edit and let's align. Let's align it right and align it top. 
aligned it top there. Okay, so let's go back to that circle. I want to move it in. For some reason, my trackpad doesn't like to click. I just moved it, didn't I? Uh, Command C. All right. There we go. Uh, it's saying it's got a certain position. Now, I want to move it down and left a little bit. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys. I'm not sure how far it moves. So I'm going to watch the 1.38 over here to see how far 1, 1.36. All right. So if it's so, if I want to move it in, let's say a quarter of an inch, that would take the 1.38, take away, take away 25. So it'd be 1.13, right? 1. Point one three. That seems really far. That seems way too far. That's not a quarter inch. All right. Um, well, let's look at this. Oh, these these uh. Well, that was a quarter of an inch in. Yeah, that'd be way too far, wouldn't it? Well, again, we got these lines at a quarter of an inch. So maybe I'll just put the center on that. Let's see, 1.25 and y, negative 0.245. Yeah, it, it, it's the one interesting thing. I want that at 2.5. Now, okay. Um, is it up is negative? Okay. Just got to know that on the axes. Uh, again, that's going to be a cut, so I want that to be red. Boom. All right, now let's play with font. Oh, and not, not yet. Um, I want to round these corners. So let's go to, we've already done edit, and there's a whole bunch of things here where you, we can do with edit. Um, align is a really important thing. Modify, there's all these things we can do with, with our objects. Mirror them, so I mean that's like you want to mirror, repeat, um, text images, rotational. I was trying to use rotational when I was trying to make gears for the teeth. Um, round corners is what I want. Text along a path, text in a box, merge, outlet, all, all these things. You gotta just play with it. So round corners, and it gave me that it's rounding them at a quarter of an inch. And we can change that, obviously. But I'll just leave that for now. Um, text. Here's my text. Here again, here's text. Um, and we can rename these. So let's go back there. I want to, instead of just calling that a rectangle, call that a name, name tag or, or keychain. And that circle is cut out. All right, and now text one, I want to, I am now, font. Oh, they got way too many fonts over here. Since I wanna score this, I need a single line font. So down here, there's some single line signs, serif and script. Um, a ton of script ones, crazy, huh? Click them and they show what they are. I don't like that. How about serif? Nope, I don't like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then you can italicize it, obviously. All right, so I like that. Now I'm going to make it smaller. And again, we can just type in a box to say how big we want to make it, 0 0.8. Um, and sometimes the boxes are locked and sometimes they're not. I don't know when they are and when they aren't. So just something to pay attention to. And then I'm just going to drag it and move it into and not really care much about placement. Oh, I am, I want I am A. I am A. And now that's probably going to be too big. So, and then here we want maker. So again, we got text two, text one. We Again, we can title it I am text two. We double, double click on it. Yep. Maker. All right. So text two. I gotta come here to the text and type maker. And again, lots of fonts, lots and lots and lots of fonts. Um, pick what you want. All right. Uh, we're just gonna go with that. Uh, too big. We can just grab the boxes, make it smaller. Bring it over here more. Oh, it actually fits pretty well. Okay, so let's look at this. This is a stroke, which is okay because I want to score it. 
But this is also listed as a stroke, and I don't want that. I want to fill because I want to engrave that. Um, so pick a color for engraving. Gray is fine. Black is okay. But now let's pick a different color for score. Um, and to, again, just to pick a different color is all we're doing. There we go. So work your colors that way. Uh, it, it helps to distinguish. Let's move this over a little bit more. Okay. Um, you can import images. Um, I think you have to have the perfect the pro version to import JPEGs and PNGs. Um, so you're going to import SVGs, and yeah, you can just import an SVG and drop it on there, and we're good to go. Um, it automatically saves, and then for me to use it, I get to export. And they actually have an export for Cricut. So, so there's some things with uh, Cuddle. Play with oh name. You just click on it and name it. I'm just picking up names. So enjoy.